in the next task for uh, for this exercise, uh, we will we will be working again with files and also again with dictionaries. And our goal is uh, to read the content of the file words.txt. That's this file over here, which has some uh, 280 uh, words from the English language. And what we have to do is actually we have to group all of these words into the group of anagrams that they uh, might represent. Uh, so, for example, um, the words alerting over here has four more anagrams in the in the in the others 279 words like altering. Here it is, like integral. If you go a bit, I guess it's a bit a little below. Here it is, relating that and triangle, triangle as well. Uh, so what we have to do is uh, we have to use dictionaries for, for this situation and we want to group them uh, the first. So the first, the first word that will come, of course, for example, acres, uh, there won't be any, uh, there won't be any, so it would go like this. We will have a dictionary where the key of that dictionary will be the first coming word that uh, exists. For example, when when the first word is read acres, uh, there isn't any possibility to match this word uh, with a given with a given um, with a given another anagram. So we'll just put this as a key over here, acres, for example. Then the next word that will come will be alerting. We'll put alerting. Sorry for the probably bad handwriting. Then we have alerts. Okay, that also cannot be matched with anything so far. Then the word uh, altering comes, which when we check all of this uh, keys that we have in the dictionary. So this one is not an anagram, but alerting, uh, sorry, altering is an anagram to the word alerting. So what we will do is we're going to append this. Uh, all of them will have some lists over here, initially empty lists. But what we will do with the alerting over here, we'll append uh, altering to that list. And this will be the algorithm that we are going to use in order to fill this dictionary with uh, pairs of anagrams. Just to remind ourselves again, anagrams are words that contain exactly the same letters. Uh, and that would be our first subtask in this uh, task. So we, we will write a method to uh, determine if word one and word two, uh, they represent, uh, they represent uh, uh, anagrams. The best way to do that is actually uh, to get all of the characters from the word and sort them lexicographically or sort the, the letters in ascending order. If when sorted the bold uh, words, the letters in the bold of words, if the, the content of that sorted list or uh, whatever is going to be are the same, that means that these two words represent anagrams. <laughs> So let's start in this task. Let's start with that first. Um, so let's define a method, a function, R anagrams, which will uh, have two arguments, word one, word two. And as I said, we will have to sort the letters in both of the words. Uh, before doing this, Let's let's give it a try. So let's have a word, for example, um, alerting. As we already said, a given string in Python actually represents a, a list uh, of of characters. So what we can do is uh, we can because it's a list, we can call this sorted method and put the word itself. So here is the. Uh, here is the list of sorted um, characters. 
A-E-G-I-L-N-R-T. For example, if we have another word, let's say another word that's an anagram to this word, alerting is the same with altering, is anagram with altering. So if we print, uh, let's print the sorted of the word and the sorted of the word one, we are getting the exact same uh, arrays. We can uh, put the equal sign in between them and see if their content is the same. We can compare the two lists and we are getting the result true. So uh, the, the method to check whether the two lists, the two words are anagrams is pretty much uh, straightforward. So we sort the characters, the, the letters in the first word, and we compare if that list of sorted characters is the same as the one for the second word. Here it is. And let's give it a try. Uh, for example, alerting and altering. And we got the result true. Okay, now that we have this, uh, let's start with the, with the main part of the task. So we'll have to open the file. So with open, the file name is words.txt as file. Uh, let's see, for each of the words, as you can see, is written in a new line. So we can iterate uh, the words as lines for word in uh, file dot read lines let's print the word and see what we'll get there's a small mistake read lines okay i have a mistake again there it is as we can see because the words each of them is in, in a new line uh, there is actually an uh, extra character over here, which is the new line. So we'll have to uh, delete that extra new line over here. So for example, if I go replace all the occurrences of a new line in the word with the empty string, I will get the words without anything additional after them. Okay, and now we have the, uh, the words. So... I will just put this, I will modify the word itself to be the word, but replace, replacing the empty, uh, the new lines with the empty, uh, empty string. For the purpose of, of this task, we are going to have, we will have to have a, a dictionary. We'll call that uh, anagram groups or something. You can declare it as this or like this, it doesn't matter. And before, as we as we already draw here on the table, before adding any, uh, before adding the word and detecting that the word doesn't have anagrams, we'll have to check all of the keys from this dictionary. So we are going to have to iterate through the keys and check if the new word is an anagram to some of the words that already exist as keys in the dictionary. So uh, for key in uh, anagram groups is we will have to check each of them so if our anagrams the method that we have defined previously if the key is anagram with the uh, current word that's this one that we are iterating what we will do actually is uh, as we said the value of the dictionary is a empty list we will create that empty list later, but we are supposing that we have an empty list over here. So what we will do is um, in that anagrams, anagram group of key to the list that's the value of this uh, in the dictionary, we will append the new word. And now we have another situation. So what will happen if the we have we have to uh, provide a mechanism that will uh, that will be able to tell us that we haven't found any of the keys to be anagram to the current word. So therefore, we will introduce here a given flag, or we can call it found, which will be initially uh, set to false. Uh, 
So before starting to iterate the keys of the of the dictionary, we will say we 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 suppose that uh, the key won't be uh, the that the word is not an anagram to any of the keys. But when we find it, we will set this flag to true. And also we can even uh, break the loop immediately because we don't we don't need to as soon as so if I find if I find the for example here with alerting I found that the new word altering is is anagram to the second key there is no need there is no need to check the other keys from the dictionary so we can stop the loop here with a with a break statement for the loop and um, yeah, after doing this, so after the loop is uh, is done, so we must uh, take care uh, very carefully of the intent intent here uh, intent here in in Python. So after the loop is done over here, I will check if the word is not found. So if it's not found, that means that I should add the word to the dictionary. For example, let's see what else ars over here. Uh, so we can add that word in the dictionary as a new key with a value of empty empty list. So if it's not found, uh, if it's not found, the anagram, anagram groups of word, so the word that we are iterating over here that we are reading from the file equals to a new list. And let's take a look. So let's go back after this four. Again, we must be very careful with the indent. So let's let's print the the dictionary. Let's see if this is working so far. Maybe we might have some error that we'll have to fix it. And we do. Uh, if not found, okay, capital. I have capital F. It should be lower F. Okay, it it works for the for the moment being. So. For the word acres, we have the anagram scares, races, scare, Syrac. For alerting, we have altering, integral, relating, triangle, just as we had in the, I think in the, yeah, in the test case. Here it is. Perfect so far. So now this task has an additional requirement that we haven't read uh, so far. So we should write all the groups of anagrams that have at least uh, five or more than five words. So we will have to check if in our dictionary, the list over here, the values, has at least four elements. Why four? Because we the key is also considered as part of the group. So one plus four, five. So this list, the values of the, of the dictionary should have a length bigger or equal than, greater or equal than uh, four. Also, the groups should be printed each in new line, and the words inside the groups should be sorted lexicograph lexicographically in the ascending order. So what we will do now, instead of just printing this dictionary, we will iterate through all of the elements of the dictionary. So we will iterate through uh, word is the key and anagrams, uh, maybe anagrams, yeah, anagrams can be can work in uh anagram groups dot items over here we will print for example the words and the anagrams let's see how that looks here they are so but now we still have them as list what we should do um, we should check before printing we should check let's see if there are any cases where it doesn't have four elements in the list i don't see any but yeah, we'll just do it in just in case. So um, if the uh, length of the anagrams list, which is the value of the dictionary, that, that's this uh, list, is uh, greater or equal than five, in that case, we'll proceed with printing. Mm. Then four, sorry, we already explained it's going to be four. Here it is. Okay, and next, what we should do, um, as you see, these are represented as lists. So we can use the the technique of joining the strings uh, with the delimiter. So uh, also, this should be sorted. First, let's sort them out. Okay, and 
if before after even sorting we'll have to make this to be a string so we will join them with a delimiter of empty space between the uh, words of the list and here they are here they are we can make this printing a bit a bit better or actually yeah, this is an empty space so that's it <laughs> So now we have all of the all of the groups uh, of anagrams which have at least five words. Some of them have even more. For example, estrange, grantees, greetings, negators, regents, sergeant, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 